why Bigfoot is probably real. And the dog man is probably real. Most people don't realize how elusive animals are. They see them and then they just disappear into the wilderness. And they're like, why do we never find bodies? Well, you don't go deep enough into the wilderness and the earth eats them back up. I've been listening to these dog man videos and I've come to the conclusion that uh, I think that creature's real. They, in the, the way the people explain them when they see them, it's literally like you see it and it disappears. When they turn their head and turn back, it's gone. I think they slink low to the ground like how how uh have you ever seen a dog crawl on its belly it's like one of the cutest things you've ever seen but uh i think they slink to the ground stay low almost slither when they are hunting or resting and then they spring into action and then that's when they are seen, when they pop up and, uh, you know, when they, when they, or when they're startled or when they're hunting, they pop up and then there's this giant creature and they're like, well, how could it hide in the woods? Most people have no idea. And it, this is a thing of human nature also the mind keeps us so self-centered we we don't see the forest through the trees so to speak when i went to spokane washington we went up on top of a mountain on the border of canada looked out towards canada and you literally could not see any civilization for hundreds of miles all around you at 360 degrees just nothing mountain range after mountain range to infinity basically is what it looked like well what lives out there well probably all kinds of things you know down in the south they uh what was it hogzilla there was a 1200 pound boar i mean that is the definition of a monster. Uh, I don't know if it was 1,200 pounds. It was 12 feet, sorry. From snout to ass, it was 12 foot long. Imagine that. And that's a hog. So when they say dog man, Bigfoot are, you know, seven to nine feet tall. If they slink low to the ground anyway, think of a soldier in a gully suit. I mean, it's the same kind of a thing. It's it's like, well, why don't you see them more often? But, you know, I came up on the woods here in Illinois with a deer ripped in half, head thrown 20 feet one way, hindquarters thrown 20 feet the other, fresh kill, absolutely no intestines to be found anywhere. And, you know, people said to me, I've said this in other videos, well, it was probably coyotes ripped it in half. There was not one bite mark on this animal. If coyotes were tearing a head from its ass, there would be, the face would be shredded, the hindquarters would be shredded. So these kind of creatures, I do believe exist. Most people don't see them. Then, uh, and also human nature, the mind once again, most people are afraid to even tell anybody about it. And the ones that do tell people about it, 
Well, the police, the park rangers, they interrogate him. They basically uh, cover it up. So I encourage everyone, if you want to get really freaked out, watch some dog man videos. It makes the Bigfoot stuff. Speaking of elusive animals, he's back again, see? He disappeared, <laughs> and he's back. She, I should say. If you want to watch some really co cool, intriguing, kind of spooky stuff, big, it's not Bigfoot. It's those Dogman videos. And when you go back in ancient history, uh, ever since man started writing, they're telling stories about them. So sure, they probably exist. I don't think they're out there to eat you, though. I think uh, people stumble up on a wild animal that's doing its own thing. They disappear, and then they talk about it later, seeing him again. Well, I just showed a video of how that kind of happens, I guess. But with a female deer. And uh, anyway, have a good day. Uh, I'm going to try to cull some of my videos, too. I, I wish I would have started my channel a lot more serious. I do. I get I get to having a few drinks in me. And I start getting stupid and I download videos. But uh, now on YouTube, the way it is, starting a new channel is almost impossible. So I'm going to get rid of some of the nonsense on my channel. Try to fine-tune it up a little bit. Try to be more serious. I know I've said that before. But I'm going to try again. And everybody have a good day. Take care. And uh, peace.